right? How do we remain alert like that, all right, to be able to see that thing taking place? And this is where uh, Colonel Cooper's color codes come into play. And I know you've heard these before. So the first color is white. The first color we've got is white. And white is when you are mentally asleep. Like, imagine um, a millennial walking across campus, head down in the phone, has no idea what's going on. They're just cruising, looking down here. They have no idea what's going on around them in their world. They're in white. Um, from, from white, then you've got yellow. And yellow is... Um, Fighter pilot awareness. Yellow is what, if you're not inside your home, if you're not, well, doors locked, uh, dogs out, kids in the bed, you're safe, right? You're in the green zone, so to speak. If you're not there, then you need to be in yellow, period. Leave your house, boom, I'm in yellow. Driving my car, I'm in yellow. That means I know what's going on spatially around me. If I'm in a room, I know if somebody comes in that room, um, if somebody is in the room and they go behind me, I know where they went. I can kind of describe them if I have to because I've taken a snapshot of that person. I'm aware of their positions. Uh, I know when they came in if they had anything in their hands or not. Um, these sorts of things, when you're uh, out of your home, you should, you should be in yellow in a, in a vehicle. Uh, what vehicles are around me? How close are they to me? How far down the road can I see? Uh, what obstacles are in the road. I'm looking as far down as I can to see what's going on. And in a large space, I'm looking up in the balconies. I'm looking down the hallways. I'm looking for the exits. I'm looking for the doors. That's yellow. You are aware of your world. Fighter pilot awareness. They know what is in their airspace. So that's, that's yellow. After yellow, we go to orange, right? Orange is you are alert to a potential problem. Right. So let's let's say you're in your house. You're sitting in your you know, your uh, your easy chair. Right. You got your feet up. You're watching TV, and kids are in the bed. Dogs are out. Alarms on. It's nighttime, and you hear a pot, planter pot that's on your balcony railing outside your sliding glass door. You hear that pot fall and break outside. Right. You've gone from watching TV to suddenly boom. You you can almost direct your hearing towards where the sound came from. You're alert, you're paying attention to what's going on. You've pulled up the legs on your chair and you're sitting forward and you're listening, right? You've gone from basically uh, green, right? You've gone from I'm just chilling at home to orange. I'm completely alert to what's going on around me, right? And, and now let's take it a little step further. Um, the next step would be red, suspecting danger, right? Red is Something's going on here. So that same scenario, you're sitting at the edge of the chair, you just heard a pop. Next thing you hear is your sliding glass door start to move. Somebody's pulling on it. You can hear that, pulling on it, because that's not a wind noise. Now from there, that is when you suspect danger. Now you're going, you're grabbing your, you're grabbing your device to get to work, and now you're in red, right? Red also, for operational guys, is every time you drive through a choke point, right? A choke point is where you're choices of direction and speed are dictated by the terrain and you can't decide where you're going to go. You have to go down that alleyway, you have to go down that one-way street, you have to go down that wadi. Uh, you're in red, you're suspecting danger, it's an ambush opportunity. Okay, So after red comes black. Black is full-on combat, man. You are engaged. Um, it is a gunfight, it is a fight, whatever type. Uh, so, same scenario, you're sitting there, you heard it, you were in orange, you moved to red, you got your rifle, you got your shotgun, your pistol, whatever. Then all of a sudden, six ninjas come flying through the window on ropes with their samurai swords out, and then you, it's a game on right there in your den, and you're just ktoosh, 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 right in your den, right? That's black. Okay, so white, yellow, orange, red, black. Question for you to think about is this. Can you go from white to black without going through those other colors. Think about it for a second. Can you go from white to black and skip the middle? Absolutely. Why? Go back to the millennial with a phone in a hand walking across campus. They have no idea what's going on around them. They take a wrong turn. Boom, they get mugged, smacked in the head, phone stolen. They get their crap kicked in right there. They went from hero to zero and skipped everything in between and they have no idea how they got in that spot. Right? So that's the color codes. Now, those color codes, it kind of gives you a framework. So now you consider and say, when I leave the house, I need to be in yellow. Right? Okay, something changed in the environment. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe I need to go to orange. I need to be paying more attention. I need to make get my family closer to me or behind me. 
Um, and then we go to, hey, I see a guy with a gun. He's moving across the park. Okay, now, pistols out. Family, we're out of here. We move to red so we can avoid going to black. So that's the color codes, and that helps you as you're getting ready to um, hopefully avoid getting into black where the, the OODA loop comes into play. So hopefully that kind of ties those things together.